Okay, I am going to wrap my bees for winter because they're done for the season and it's getting cold and I want to make sure they survive the winter. They've been uh, uh, getting the sugar syrup for the last couple of weeks and had had a mite treatment so they should be ready to go. As you can see, I have my entrance reducer down at the bottom uh, and I am going to be a little extra safe with this. I'm going to actually staple a little piece of hardware cloth uh, down at the bottom and that will help to keep the mice out as well. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to squish the hives together so they're snug up tight together. Uh, then I'm going to go into the hives and make sure that uh, the, the, uh, the, the honey is on the outside of the uh, brood, not that the brood is stuck to one corner. This way they'll be sure to be able to get to the honey in the middle of winter. Um, after that, I'm going to tip the hives up a little bit so that the, uh, they will drain forward in case there's any moisture trapped in them and uh, that way it will keep the, the, the hive dry. And after that, I'm going to take the pail off and flip my lid over so that there is a top entrance and that's going to allow for ventilation. Um, they're in a nice location where they won't get any wind and that will help to to keep them safe um, After that I'm gonna make you nauseous here by going to my video here. I've got my uh, my wraps ready to go uh, first, I'm going to Take the big black tarp and I'm going to wrap it around the actual hive and secure it with some ties like this uh, and then I have uh, little piece of wood that I've got cut up. So basically I can stick this at the top entrance and that will allow the bees to come out. It'll secure the black tarp to the hive, but it'll still let the, the bees enter and exit. Uh, the, the bees will be able to enter and exit at the top of the hive and at the bottom and that ensures that there's good ventilation. After I've got that all secured around the hives with these uh, little clasps in front. I will take the pillow top and set it on top and then I will uh, tuck that in underneath the black wrap and the last layer is the actual top coat where this will be secured to the pallet that they're sitting on. Some people will put an extra piece of plywood on top to secure it down. Basically you want it to be nice and tight and secure. Um, inside that wrap I'm also going to put some mouse poison because the last thing I want is for mice to take up residence in my beautiful, clean, wonderful uh, hives and uh, make my bees nuts and uh, make a mess of the comb and the actual wrap. Uh, so, so that's about it. This way they'll be nice and uh, secure from the wind. They'll be secure from mice getting into them. They'll be comfy and warm. They should be able to get to the food stores because it won't be tucked away in the other corner. And uh, once they're all wrapped up, that'll be it for the season. I won't go back into them until March when it's time to start taking a peek and checking the mites and giving them some pollen, pollen supplement. And that's it.